This is Indecision Peak at Spring Mountain Ranch State Park, just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. This particular hill offers us the chance to examine the geology of this area. Starting at the top, the whitish sandstone with an occasional red iron ribbon deposit is called Aztec sandstone. This area is all part of that massive sand dune that covered from this area all the way to Colorado. And in fact, what we're calling Aztec sandstone at the top, further east in Utah and Monument Valley, it's called Navajo sandstone. So it's the same thing. It's just that what I've learned from geology is that they tend to name the rock layers or formation according to location. So this is the same thing you'll see in Zion National Park. Now, as we come down from the top, which is the Aztec sandstone, and that includes the more white or buff colored sandstone, as well as that ribbon of darker material, which just represents the iron oxide deposits and maybe a little desert varnish. Just below that you'll see sort of a slope. Now that slope is runoff from the sandstone that's at the top. Which as you look around the hill is still Aztec sandstone. Then the next layer is that ribbon of red much more deeply red rock. Now that is more than likely what they call Cayenta because it tends to look like it's in layers and the Cayenta member of this formation was formed by layering of riverbeds so that layers built up with time and that's why you tend to see the more horizontal fracturing of that particular rock. Now just below that you see a lighter colored red rock that looks like just symmetrical blocks. That may indeed be Wingate sandstone because it tends not to be as layered and it tends to fracture vertically. Then you see more runoff below that layer to the Aztec sandstone and it eventually blends into the Chinle formation. And then at the bottom of that, which we can't see in this picture, is my old favorite, the Shinarump. So to recap, Aztec sandstone, all the whitish looking part of this particular hill. Moving on down to what appears to be horizontally layered red rock consistent with Cayenta. Then below that possibly Wingate sandstone. And then Chinle petrified forest. And you may wonder why there's a blending of the Chinle layer and the petrified forest because in this area, before the sand dunes came there, this was an area that had plenty of water. In fact, there were lakes. This area was a huge lake and lots of trees grew. And over time, some of the trees became covered with uh, silicates and that preserves some of the tree trunks. So this is something to look out for when you visit the Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area as well as Spring Mountain Ranch State Park.